Should you put uh, ketchup into the refrigerator or is it okay to leave it outside at room temperature? Social media does not seem to agree on this question and indeed uh, the answer is not quite as straightforward as uh, it might uh, appear. Hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here and uh, yes, today I'm going to put uh, some cat ketchup under the microscope uh, to answer this question. Is it important uh, to put ketchup into the refrigerator or not? Well, uh, social media, and um, not only social media, but also newspapers started to pick up on that topic. Um, and uh, indeed, there was a heated debate online. And uh, even the company Heinz, who manufactures uh, ketchup, weighed in into this discussion and stated very clearly that ketchup should be put into the refrigerator, even with uh, three exclamation points. Uh, yes, but why is that? And when I go to the supermarket to buy some ketchup, I can see that the ketchup is not refrigerated. It's just standing there on the shelf. Uh, so this is uh, clearly uh, a paradox and, and certainly contradictory. So, so what's going on here? Um, and in short, the answer is, is that uh, before um, you open the ketchup, you can store it outside um, at room temperature. But after opening, it must be refrigerated. And later on, I'm going to even give you some advice how you can make food more storable and why refrigeration alone also is not going to be enough uh, for a storage uh, of food that has been opened over long term. Well, let's put some ketchup under the microscope first uh, to find out uh, why it is important uh, um, to uh, keep a ketchup cool after that's been opened. Well, um, under the microscope, of course, we see a lot of uh, yeah, unidentified structures, but uh, if you look very closely, there are a couple of very familiar things here. For example, this spiral-shaped structure is xylem. That is uh, the plant tissue which is responsible for transporting water. It has uh, this spiral shape, and of course, uh, because ketchup does contain tomatoes, we should not be surprised that we're able to find uh, those structures. Also, starch grains um, can be found. Um, evidently, starch was added to keep, uh, to make the ketchup thicker um, and uh, much more viscous so that it uh, kind of does not uh, flow um, quite as quickly. Yes, but if you look very carefully here, and I've taken some ketchup now from the lid um, uh, of, uh, um, of the ketchup bottle, if you look very carefully here, we are also able to see those interesting elongated structures which are branched. And these are the things that actually worry me, because these are fungi. The ketchup here um, fr from from the lid actually contains some fungus, some mold. So uh, essentially, where does it come from? Well, this mold has started to grow because after we've opened the ketchup, mold spores uh, from the air started, started to settle on the ketchup and it started to reproduce. And this mold is actually the thing that causes the food to become spoiled, besides bacteria, of course, um, um, which also do the same thing. And this is the reason why you have to keep uh, ketchup in the refrigerator after after opening. It is not the air that's the problem that reaches the ketchup, but these are the bacteria and the fungi that can be found in the air that will fall into the ketchup and then um, they will start to grow and then this spoils uh, the food. And in the refrigerator, um, of course, uh, because it lowers uh, the uh, temperature, this also lowers the metab metabolic rate of bacteria and fungi. For this reason, at cold temperature, those bacteria and fungi cannot reproduce as quickly, but they still um, will reproduce. So even if you keep ketchup cool, cold, you should uh, use it up uh, within um, uh, a couple of uh, weeks at least. Well, what can you now do in order to uh, make sure that the food uh, stays uh, long or fresh um, even after you've opened it? Well, there are a couple of um, best practice guidelines. Uh, one of the things, of course, is refrigeration, but do not put it into the refrigerator after you've opened it, but even before you've opened it. Make sure that you open the bottle when it is already cold, because this simply reduces the time when bacteria and fungi can reproduce. A second suggestion that I definitely have is, is hmm, I think it is a really bad idea to use contaminated spoons, for example, after you put them into your mouth and then go into the food because this way you're transferring um, bacteria from your mouth into the food and this spoils the food uh, much faster. And the third uh, recommendation that I have, and this is the recommendation that uh, um, I uh, always uh, do, and that is, is to put a date, uh, an opening date uh, on the food. And I think uh, this is even more important than sometimes uh, the expiry date because if the food is uh, closed and properly stored then the food can remain fresh and, uh, and eatable even long after the expiry date. Um, but if you put uh, a date, an opening date um, on your food then essentially uh, you always know when you have to use it up. So this is basically the answer. Um, the answer is, is uh, put the food, food into the refrigerator um, after you've opened it um, and uh, prevent uh, bacteria and fungi from growing 
something in the food. I think that's all for today. Happy micro-punting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.